drawing a free body diagram of the entire frame <clears throat> and removing the pins at A and C, we see that we have four unknowns. The reaction at A, at the Y in the X direction, and the reaction at C in the X in the Y direction. In order to solve for all four of these unknowns, we will have to use more than one free body diagram. This is how we, which is the method of using equilibrium analysis to a frame. We can start by solving for at least two of these unknowns with the given free body diagram above. However, which equation should we use? We have the sum of the forces in the x, the sum of the forces in the y, or the sum of the moments in the system is equal to zero. Which equation of these will be better to use? Well, looking at the sum of the forces in the x, we see that we have at least two unknowns in that equation. Sum of the forces in the y, we also have two unknowns in that equation. So the most prudent choice would be to take a moment equation. Usually we try to eliminate at least one unknown. So by taking the moments at either A or C, we can eliminate the unknown reactions at A or C. Well, which one of these is the better choice? If we take the moments at A, the horizontal distance between the 200 Newton force and A is tricky to solve. However, if we take the moments at C, it is an easy distance to solve and already given in the free body diagram as 300 millimeters. Also, the horizontal distance or the perpendicular distance to the 120 Newton force is one meter. Since the geometry is much easier to calculate the moments about C, we will take the, some of the moments about C. Taking the moments from the loads on the system about point C, we have <clears throat> the horizontal or perpendicular distance to RAY of 0.75 meters. This is causing a counterclockwise rotational tendency around point C. So this is a positive value. From the right hand rule, we can determine that also the moments from the 120 Newton and the 200 Newton are negative values or since they cause clockwise rotation. With only one unknown, we can solve for RAY right off the bat and we find that it is equal to 240 newtons in the direction drawn in the free body diagram. Next, let's use the sum of the forces in the y direction to solve for RCY. Using the fact that this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle and from the relationships of life triangles, <clears throat> and from the relationships of like triangles, we can calculate the y component from the 200 newton force as four over five. So the sum of the forces in the y is equal to minus ray plus rcy plus four fifths 200 newtons. Plugging in ray of 200 newtons we find that our CY is 400 newtons pointing in the direction of the free body diagram, which is up. The final equilibrium equation we have is the sum of the forces in the X. However, since there are two unknowns, this will produce a equation with a combination of two unknowns, and therefore we cannot solve for any of the forces in the X. We will need to use another free body diagram in order to get to these forces.